Anthony and Beth put every last cent into buying a caravan, only to discover what they bought was nothing more than a $45,000 lemon. And they're not the only ones stung by Shane. Shane! Seb Costello with a current affair. I don't know how he can lay straight in bed. Do you tell the customers that the caravans have been in accidents, Shane? What he's done is, is wrong and it shouldn't happen. Is it all right to just have a quick chat, Shane? No, we just wanted to ask you a few questions. After lashings of lockdown and homeschooling, Anthony, Beth and their two boys were ready to get off the couch and onto the open road. But just outside the lounge room window sits a caravan that's cost them more than just their dream. We literally put every last cent into buying this van. Ticked all the boxes for our family. Being a, a van with bunks and a shower and toilet inside, which was just wonderful. Priced at $45,000, things looked good. After some initial checks of the Gumtree listing, Anthony and Beth agreed to meet the seller, Shane Morrison. He says, hurry up, hurry up, go on, you know, give us, give us some money, you can have it straight away. And I thought, oh, OK, so I felt a bit rushed, but, you know, you do what you do and you give your money to and trust these people. Sadly, their trust wasn't honoured. And when the family headed on a Christmas holiday to the Victorian high country, a storm led to the discovery that their new van wasn't even waterproof. So the rain was pouring in over all the beds, um, through the aerial, so, so many points. And so we had to turn all the power off because it was coming in through, well, even well, though it's the on lights. the lights. Yeah. The storm cleared, but the problems didn't end for the couple. When the rain stopped, they realised the van had been damaged prior to them owning it and that damage had been patched over, something the seller had kept quiet. You can see, Seb, it's really dodgy workmanship. Uh, nothing's been sealed, nothing's been stapled. Inside, things weren't any better. Pieces of the roof coming clear away. Things like this, you know. But so you can just pull that wood straight out of the sky. Pull it straight. Right? It's supposed to be a solid piece. Anthony and Beth paid Shane $45,000 for the caravan and so far Shane hasn't showed any interest in returning so much as a cent. In some good news, Anthony and Beth have found a repairman willing to replace the roof and make the caravan once again fit for purpose, but that's going to cost them an extra $10,000. And then there's the logbook. It should detail the caravan's prior owners, but as our cameras zoom in, you can see where the key page has been torn out, preventing Anthony and Beth from tracing the ownership history of the van. So someone has made an effort to tear out pages that would inform you as to the history of the caravan. That's right. Well, how do you characterise that sort of oh, page? It's, it's, tip, it, it's, it's terrible. Mother of two, Melinda, also bought a caravan from Shane Morrison after seeing a post on Facebook. We'd gone away over Christmas um, just for five days just to get some use out of it. We'd come back and uh, we'd noticed that there was a crack that had appeared near the door. More cracks began to appear and then Melinda noticed what appeared to be a sticker mark in the shape of a logo for a Queensland caravan rental company. When Melinda's husband contacted the company about the vehicle, the man on the other end of the phone said the unthinkable. The last time I seen that caravan, it was on the side, like it was a write-off. So the hire company told you the caravan you'd purchased had been involved in an accident? Yes, the last time he'd seen it, it was, it was on its side in a fr on the freeway up there. At any time when you were purchasing the caravan from Shane, did he disclose that this caravan had been in an accident? No, no not at all. This was the first you were hearing That's of the it. first that we heard of it. Melinda asked for her money back, but had problems contacting Shane online. Are you able to show me Shane's Facebook page? Uh, I can't show you Shane's Facebook um, page on my account because after we'd approached them for our money back, um, he'd blocked me. Robert Lucas from the Caravan Industry Association. So what we're seeing is a whole stack of people coming into the market, taking, taking statutory write-offs or other write-off vehicles and rebirthing them. Once they've been a statutory write-off, they're not to, not to be rebirthed. Mr Lucas recommends engaging an industry expert to inspect caravans before making a purchase. And they can look at dodgy repairs, they can look at things that have been removed, VIN numbers and, on, and that flags it straight away. Given Shane Morrison blocked Melinda online, we tracked him down in person to see if he wanted to share his side of the story. 
Just wanted to have a chat to you about the caravans you've been selling. Do you ever purchase caravans that have been in accidents? Do you tell the customers that the caravans have been in accidents, Shane? Is it all right to just have a quick chat, Shane?